Hello and welcome everybody to Who is Mike? This is a visual novel and it is a thriller visual novel. Never have played one of those before. It looked pretty interesting on Steam, I gotta say, and therefore I decided, you know, let's try it out, shall we? Now it's only two hours long, but it has nine endings, so I guess lots and lots decision awaits us. But anyway, until I blabber more... Oh, and by the way, it's PG-16, so get the fuck out of here if you are under the age of 16. Or not, maybe American uh, laws don't apply to your country. I don't really know. If a game is PG-16, does that actually apply then for Germany? Like, do I have to care for that? Probably not. I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm under 16 or something, but you know. Anyway. Ah. Uh, my hat. My nape throbbed with a sudden, persistent pain. Dizziness came and went like a slow trickle of sweat. What? It was evening. Oh, background noises. Always good. Especially in horror games. Well, I guess it, if it's a thriller, it probably has horror elements, I guess. The curtains were closed and the sound of blood thumping in my ears made the silence malignant, whatever that means. I was in my house, yes. But I was disoriented. Something felt amiss. There was a certain creepiness that made the hairs on my arms prickle. I blinked at my surroundings. My glasses. Where are they? D did I bump into something? Or... Uh... Stay back. Whatever you are. Are you a woman? You. I don't really know. I'm just guessing because of the color of the clothing. <laughs> Even before I heard his voice. Okay, no. I had felt the presence of someone else in the room. It justified the awful feeling in my gut. J just don't move! Oh my god. There was... A stranger in my house. He held a bat with his outstretched arms, maintaining the distance between us. G get back! I didn't know what to do. I opened my mouth in several attempts to say something. Don't hurt me! Please leave! What do you want? In the end, I just stood there in dumb silence, stewing in my own nervous sweat. What is he even doing here? If he was a robber, he picked the wrong house. Do I know him from somewhere? I squinted at his blurred shape, trying to replace the man's fuzzy edges with something more tangible. He looks... I stepped closer. The man waved the bat in alarm. I, I told you not to move! Uh. Did he just shiver? He is acting way more upset than me. I have... I don't know. Well, in the beginning screen there were pictures of the same person. Like two times. And judging by the... Judging by the title of the game, I guess, like he's... Like two times there. One time this uh, scary mic and one time the mic that is the protagonist. If that is Mike, I don't really know, I'm just speculating after three minutes of gameplay. I should probably stop that. <laughs> Considering he's the intruder in my house. It might be a foolish thing to say, but he didn't seem dangerous at all. Just go away, please. Please. Or maybe like Mike is like a bit crazy in the head and it's Mike is only this person there in the whatever it is. It is, is it a sweater? I don't really know. Huh, anyway, eh, speculating, me and speculation. I even speculate when there is nothing to speculate yet. He continued mumbling to himself, gasping big gulps of panicked breaths. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, I think you're having a panic attack. Try breathing through your nose and you're out of your mouth. Damn. Did I actually just give breathing exercise to a trespasser? I guess Sarah was right. My kindness will be the death of me one day. In any case, the stranger relaxed a good deal. I gave him a small, unsure smile. You alright? What... what are you? Um... sorry? My name is Mike Jansen, and you're in my house. Who are you? Never mind. I think I lost my glasses somewhere. If you let me find them, I'm sure we can sort this out. You don't seem like a bad guy. The man dropped the bat to his side and let out a long, forlorn sigh. Another coffee table, probably. 
Thanks. I fumbled around the floor, praying for dear life the stranger wouldn't attack me while I was vulnerable. Oh uh, yeah, you actually got a point there, huh? That's probably not the smartest strategy. But hey, without glasses, he, he will be probably killed if the stranger wants to kill him, so I guess searching for them is a good idea. But he just stood there, shuffling his feet and mumbling to himself. He wasn't very threatening, really. I'm sure the poor guy is just confused. Also, there was something familiar about him. Something I couldn't quite put my finger on. It, I, it might be his posture. Or even that red sweater he was wearing. That is not red, that is pink. I could swear it looks exactly like mine. Ha! Okay. I mean, I do speculation. But, you know, once or twice, twice, like my speculations are actually accurate. Sorry for threatening you with a bat. Uh, it's alright. If it makes any difference, I wasn't really going to hit you. The shape of my glasses finally regis registered in my hand and I fished them out. I don't really think I can hurt anyone, even in this situation. As Sarah has always said. The world gained clarity as I put the, air, put the pair of glasses over my eyes. Someday, kindness is going to kill me. So, uh, you can see me now. Hi. The man waved lamely. I, I stood there with my jaw agape, staring at him. He was me. Oh, it's strange, now I gave like both mics a different voice, like... Protagonist Mike speaks a little bit like this, and the other Mike is a bit like... Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, well, I'll stick with that, even though they are the same person, you know. Existing as, as a separate being. He had my face, hair, my posture, my sweater. No wonder that sweater looked like mine, it was mine. This is just a dream. It's just a dream. That's it. Calm down. Don't lose your hat. Relax. No matter how many times I said it, though, the gravity of the situation refused to stick. The room felt simultaneously constricting and vase, like being squeezed and let go again and again. I felt like I was a child again, lost in a crowd, blindly reaching for my mother's hand, only to realize in horror that the hand belonged to a stranger. Ugh. Uh, uh, okay. Now it's your turn not to panic, alright? Deep breaths. Is he some kind of clone? An apparition of my future? What? What? What exactly is he? I reached out to touch him, wanting to make sure he was real and not some figment of my imagination. The other Mike recoiled from my touch and pushed my arm away. Hey now, this is weird for both of us. Don't make it worse by being grabby. He looked solid, so he can't be a ghost. He also just uh, slapped your arm away. He can, from he can form separate thoughts from my own. And he seemed aware that we were the same, same person. What are you? Why do you have my face? Excuse me? Your face? For your information, I was having a normal night in my house when you came barging in here. So why don't you tell me what you're doing in my living room? I opened my mouth to argue, but once I did, I realized I couldn't remember anything. My last bits of memory consisted of a bowl of chips and late night TV shows. Also, a pain at the back of my hat. I... Uh, I can't remember. Aha! Ah, really strange, like you're the intruder. Hmm. Ah. Huh. See? That's what all fakes say. Case closed. Fake? Excuse me? You're some sort of anom anomaly. It's the only explanation. I don't remember doing anything special recently. If you have my memories, I'm sure you'll agree. You, on the other hand, lost a chunk of time from yours. So you are either the cause of everything, or simply an effect. Argo, an anomaly. Alright. And if we're going there, I might as well say you're lying about the state of your memories. Normality was disrupted with your presence. Hence, I lost that track of time. The probability that you are the cause and effect of my sudden amnesia is very high. Therefore... You're the fake. You can't prove that. Neither can you disprove it since I will have the same arguments. 
And go around in circles. I see where you're getting at. Hmm. Still... Yeah, but the thing is... Like, this mic has recent memory loss. So it's more logical to say he's at the wrong... Uh, well, the protagonist mic, not the other mic. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Oh, whoops, wrong button. And it always says you, not Mike. Maybe we're not Mike. Maybe Mike is some evil mastermind to put us in all this uh, kind of game he's playing us. I don't know. We'll see. It is quite interesting, though. Isn't it? Well, I guess not really. Uh, well, we try to make uh, awkward conversations, so... Oh, by the way, I already tried this game out for uh, two seconds, if you're wondering about the save file. Uh, just because I tried um, to fix audio and stuff like that and see if everything works out. Uh, so, well, I guess so, not really. Uh, he's try yeah, he's trying to make awkward conversations, so we'll go with, well, I guess. Even if he's an evil mastermind, I don't think it's really, like, that intelligent to make him angry, so... <laughs> Well, uh, sorta. After all, it's not every day you meet an exact replica of yourself. You make it sound like I'm the copy here. Well, aren't you? Don't start that thing again. It's strange that I gave them two voices. Well, on the other hand, now it's easier to separate. Hmm. Oh well, now it is what it is. This is such a pain in the ass. Don't I know it. What could have caused this? What kind of freak of nature would have sprouted another me? I'm sure I'd be flattered or something, but I'm hardly clonable specimen material. Ah, uh, at the very least, he doesn't seem dangerous. There was no animosity or aggression coming from him. I didn't feel any ill will towards him either. But it was strange how we have the same small scar on the chin. Really, I can't see that. But I'm like... Close to blind. Sometimes I'm wondering why I'm not wearing glasses. But like all people, not like all people, but I actually once made a test and they said my eyes are totally okay. Still, sometimes I'm like, I don't see anything. <laughs> but maybe it's just a concentration thing. I'm bad with concentrating, you know. Maybe you realize when I just talk while the game wants to be played on, you know. <laughs> and even the same pockmarks from the teenage acne. Acne. Acne? Acne? I don't know. I touched my own face on a sudden impulse. I'm still me. Right? Just then we heard a door softly opening from upstairs. Oh no! Sarah! Sarah! I knew Sarah heard that noise a while ago. But quick, find somewhere to hide. I'll try to distract Sarah while you crawl out the front door. What? Wait a minute. You're getting rid of me? No, I'm not, okay? We just can't risk having two mics in the house. You know that. Then why don't you leave? Are you kidding? You look like a train wreck. He was right. I was filthy. How did that happen? Look, we'll get it all sorted out tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe your missing memory might even come back. But you're throwing me out of my house. I'm not throwing you out. This is just a temporary arrangement. Let me deal with Sarah tonight. And tomorrow, we'll sort out this mess. Just leave for now, okay? Ooh, no, 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 no. If you're an evil motherfucker, it's not intelligent to leave you alone with my wife, girlfriend, little sister, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm staying here, friendo. I stand there with a heavy feeling in my stomach. Oh, whoops, again, wrong button. My bad. The suggestion made sense, but my feast refused to move. Yeah, it makes sense if we could for 100% trust him, but we can't, therefore we stay. Why should I hide? Why should I scurry away from my girlfriend in my house? It's not about my, it's just if this is my girlfriend, thank you by the way for clarifying that, then he might hurt her. That's not so good. It wasn't right. Faint trickles of anger scratched at my chest. No way. What? I'm not leaving. Come on, man. Don't be difficult. 
if Sarah sees this, this, it will not end well for either of us. But if there's anyone out there who can help us, it's... Shh. Mikey, it's getting late. Aren't you coming up? Her voice called from the stairs. The living room was dark, and she probably didn't see us in the dim light. We held our breaths tight in our throats. Uh, I got distracted. Sarah walked towards us, a nonchalant look on her face. Hey, is someone there with you? It's pretty late for visitors. Uh, is that your brother? Mike stole a glance at me. Listen, Sarah. Please don't panic. Oh, my. Can't scream it, it's night, but uh, imagine I screamed God. Sarah, calm down. This is... What the fuck? Okay. I know this looks sort of bad, but... Uh... Sort of bad? Mike, I'm staring at two of you. I think we crossed the threshold of sort of bad a long time ago. This is a trick, isn't it? With some mirrors and shit? It's not a prank, Sarah. This is really happening. You should realize because we have two different voices, you know? And we really don't know what to do. Stop! Stop talking! Watching both of you talk at the same time is giving me vertigo. Um... Deep breaths? I... I think I need to lie down. Excuse me for a bit. Well... That went better than expected. For real, that went better than expected. If by that you mean my girlfriend is ready to pop a stress, baby, then yeah. Sure. I told you this was a bad idea. Nah, she'll be fine. Yeah, take it back. Nah, she'll be fine. She obviously she'll be, will be fine. First of all, they had a, she had a tough girl uh, look. Like, you know, she was drawn like a tough girl. So that is one indication that she is a tough girl. I mean, all that, uh, in real life you can't judge a book by its cover, you know. But this is a game. Character design counts. And uh, second of all, she actually took it really good. Nah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's a police officer. Oh, well that explains anything. Uh, that's a, whoop, that explains a lot. She's used to these kinds of stressful situations, right? I don't think you know what you're talking about. Ah, <sighs> guess we better just deal with it. All right, boys, I'm a lot calmer now. Now, first order of business. What the flying fuck? That's not really an order. I have no idea. Staring, start at the beginning then. Well, uh, I heard a noise and I checked it out. I found somebody stumbling around in the living room. I panicked, took the bat, just wanted to scare off the guy. And then I saw him with my face on. I thought I was losing it. But he was making his way upstairs, so I had to confront him somehow. To be honest, I thought of grabbing a crucifix or something. <laughs> In this case, it's kind of believable. Cute. I don't remember any of that. I just woke up here with an aching hat. What's the last thing you do remember? Tell the truth, tell a lie. Oh yeah, ah, that's actually a good point. I don't know if I can trust this Sarah here. On the other hand, like, um, if they have me in or something, it's probably, even if they are both bad guys, or if only she's a bad guy or something like that, telling her a lie doesn't probably help me, so we'll tell the truth. I remember hearing a noise in the kitchen, but I thought it was nothing. I grabbed a beer from the fridge, and something hit me in the hat. Next thing I know, I'm in the living room, and this guy was waving a bat at my face. No way! He came in here dragging himself like a drunk, and then he tripped on that stupid carpet. Ugh, I hate this carpet. No, you hit me with the bat. Well, we don't know that, so ugh, I hate this carpet. I hate that carpet. And what's with that smirk? Because he hates it too, obviously. Like you never tripped on that carpet yourself? Ugh. My sister gave us that carpet out of the goodness of her heart. That explains so much. Ha! Huh. So. I'm getting the feeling that there's another issue here, though. Are you guys trying to out-real each other or what? 
Well, there can't be two Mike Janssens or Janssens. Well, it's not German, so we'll see Jansen, I get. There can't be two Mike Janssens, can there? Maybe you could help us figure it out. Huh? Decide which one of you is real? Yeah. Like how exactly? Uh, I don't know. Ask us some personal questions or whatever. Hey, yeah, why not? Maybe one of us will slip up? Right, because you want to treat this like a fucking trivia game. No, this, actually in, in this situation it would make sense, I think. Look guys, I don't think that's gonna work. You can't just decide the realness of somebody in one of night of 20 questions. No, that's true, but it could actually at least help. <laughs> we have to find another way. Like what? Blood, blood sampling? DNA test? An exorcism? I don't fucking know. Just please, don't make me choose between the two of you. Sarah, I'm... Uh, I'm... We're aware this is unfair. But if there's one person who can help us, it's you. Mikey, you do know I love you, right? We've been together a long time. I know your bowel patterns and your unhealthy fanboy obsession with Jason Statham. I don't know who that is, but it's probably a, an actor. Maybe? I don't know. Um, but I don't think literally anyone is cut out for this shit. Why don't we just call your mother? <laughs> Both? No! Oh ho, oh, even your reactions are the same. Impressive. Baby bunny, please. Please help Papa Bunny out. S stop! Didn't I tell you that nickname is only between the two of us? Uh, technically it's still just me. Oh. My. God. That is so fucking creepy. One thing is for sure. We do have to fix this. It's just too damn weird. So will you help us? Sarah sighs and shakes her head. I don't think I get a say either way. It's at least worth a sh- um, it's at least worth a shot. Wait. After this is over, what are we going to do with a supposed imposter? Have you guys thought about that little jam? I'm sure we'll figure something out afterwards. Yes, let's think about it later. Nope, the fake has to leave. No, we think about that later. We don't know. Maybe it's not really fake and, you know... Maybe he's not uh, responsible for everything happening and stuff. On the other hand, maybe he said that uh, because he is fake and he wants to get away with it. Hmm. No, no, no. Let's think about it later, I'd say. Yeah. Let's not rush into that conclusion yet. Take it one step at a time. Ah. Okay, whatever. Personal question it is. Anniversary? February 26, 2009. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? Hey wait, isn't that a good cliffhanger? So... <laughs> okay, we'll end the episode here. Ha, I, sometimes I feel good being unfair. So this looks actually pretty pretty good. Like, I read some reviews on Steam and they said it's good. But it has some, like, beginner mistakes. I don't know that yet, you know. But, um, so far this looks pretty solid. First of all, I love the artwork. It looks like really, it looks really, really good, I think. Like, they ha they really have their uh, own style. I'm always a fan of own styles that look actually good. And this is one of these cases, you know. And it's solidly written. The scenario is interesting. I have no idea what's going on and what's going to happen. So this is awesome. So I think you, ho I hope you think so too and come back next episode. So thank everybody for watching. Come back for the next one. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.